So you've made your college decision finally, and you've accepted your financial aid, and now you received a letter from the financial aid office telling you that you need to finalize your master promissory note and complete your entrance counseling. Now what? Hey everyone, I'm Tina Steele, the FAFSA guru, and I wanted to come on and talk to you today about next steps. You know, once you accept your financial aid and then having to complete those master uh, promissory notes. So every student that applies for financial aid is eligible for a federal direct loan, either a subsidized direct loan or an unsubsidized direct loan or a combination of both. So in order to get that process going, you actually have to initiate the loan process. In order to do that, you have to sign on to studentaid.gov and log in. What you're going to do is log in with your FSA ID, and this is the student FSA ID that was created when you filled out and signed the FAFSA. You're going to log in, and then you're going to do two things. The first is you're going to, uh, at the top of the screen, you'll see something that says complete aid process. So you're gonna click on that, and then you're going to go down to complete entrance counseling, loan entrance counseling. And what that is, it's, it's online counseling uh, to help you understand what your rights and responsibilities are as a student loan borrower. The government wants to make sure you know that you're borrowing a loan, you know how the interest is going to add up, you know how much you're going to owe at the end, you have an idea of what your monthly payments are. So they want you to be an informed student loan borrower. So you have to go through the entrance counseling, counseling read everything, uh, probably answer a few questions, and then just complete that process. The next step is to actually complete your master promissory note. So you can get, navigate to that section right under the applying or completing the aid process. And then you're going to go in and actually fill out your, it's like a student loan application. So they're going to ask a bunch of information about you know what the college is that you are um, getting this loan for. They're going to ask you for the amount of money that you're borrowing because you have the option to not borrow all of the loan that you're offered. Remember, you can you know borrow all of it, return loan funds at any time. There's no pre penalty for paying early or anything like that. So if you're unsure, borrow the maximum amount that you are awarded as an undergraduate dependent freshman, dependent means that it's a student that's dependent upon their parents' information, you'll likely be eligible for about $5,500 for the year. So you're going to go in and fill that out. You have to provide a couple of references. Uh, make sure you cross all your T's and dot all your I's, and then you're going to sign and submit it. And that'll actually initiate the direct student loan process. Once you do the entrance counseling and the master promissory note, the financial aid office at the school will be notified that you've completed that and they can kind of begin the process of uh, securing the loan and dispersing the loan when the time comes. So hope that helps. I've been getting a lot of questions about it. Just wanted to clarify for all of you.